Hey team, thanks for stopping by. This is a video series that I'm excited to share. How to win 12 games in arena race every single time. The game plan here is just, uh, I'm gonna record over all these games in arena race. Um, and I'll just kind of share some tips and tricks with you every time as we go by. So I have to say that kind of the key to winning arena race, I would say is like, four percent skill um and 80 percent memorizing the maps and just like knowing what is the fastest route to go and then maybe the remaining 16 percent is like look uh, so yeah um with that in mind just kind of while i'm talking through the general tips and tricks i'd recommend you pay attention to kind of the routes that i'm going the decisions i'm making as I play Arena Race here on the screen, you know, kind of get a sense for what are the fastest routes, and then kind of as I run out of things to talk about, generally, um, I'll start talking about the individual choices that I'm making on the screen, um, and explaining why I think um, kind of the the up or down, you know, decisions I'm making, um, where to go on the map, is is a good decision or a bad one, and kind of explaining the trade-off um, and the, the decision making in my head about um, speed versus going out of my way to get a power-up box. All right, so one of the main, I think, tenets of Arena Race that I remember as I play through is that you don't have to be first, you just can't be last, okay? How does this matter? Shouldn't you be trying to win and do your best and be in first all the time anyway? No, that is definitely a mistake. A lot of times I will change my play style in arena race um, versus how I play in quick race um, because I will use my power-ups in such a way that instead of trying to like make a risky play and get as many kills as I can, I will simply just go for only one or two kills um, with certainty as opposed to just like trying something that i think may hopefully um, knock out six or seven people the point here is that if i know for a fact that there will be at least one dude behind me at the end of the or by the time i reach um, the checkpoint i'm safe you know and i've done a good job and i'm more likely to win <laughs> than um you know kind of chucking my saw blade vaguely into the fray of people um and hoping it, it knocks a bunch of people out so that's a big that's a big thing to remember um certainty right like you want to be certain that there is someone behind you at all times speaking of certainty tip number two is that if you follow the exact same path as the person ahead of you you're never going to overtake them unless you get a box or something and they get a shitty box and you get a good box and you know they waste it and then you pull ahead the thing here to remember is that if you are in fourth place and there is someone ahead of you you need to change up your route and go for a box or do something that might make your path to the finish line different than their path so that you can possibly cut a corner if you're a little unsure what i mean here um don't worry by the second half of this video, I will be kind of pointing out all these tips in action as they come up in my games. Um, so don't worry, we will have time to review and implement and cement all this knowledge. Speaking of which, if you are here on the video right now, um, first of all, thank you for coming. Uh, it probably means that you are addicted to Fun Run like me um, and, you know, want to start uh, getting all these you know outfit pieces without having to pay for them <laughs> um so don't worry you are in the right place i have to say that um i am a i'm a free-to-play player um and the second i like got good at arena race i felt like a pay-to-win player because i was just rolling in gems excuse me i was rolling in gems i was getting 12 gems like every 20 minutes that i sat down to play fun run um and, you know, I was able to buy all these sweet little outfits and the runner pass whenever I wanted to. Um, and so 
So I just, you know, cannot sing the praises of Arena Arena Race enough. I think it is the best game mode in Fun Run 3 and certainly the one that you want to, like, spend your time um, getting skilled at. So you're in the right place. Thank you for joining me. All right. What are we on? Tip number three? Tip number three is that you need to pull out of this fucking rat race um, as soon as you can, right? Like, and by that I mean you need to get to the front ASAP. Uh, because all these saw blades that are happening, you know, behind you, you don't want to get caught up in that. You just want to get out of there. <laughs> um, and so how do you do this? Well, I think power-ups is definitely an important thing to maximize. Um, I talked about this, or I alluded that I would talk about this a little bit earlier. Um, but what are the best power-ups to use in arena race? So kind of the big difference here that you need to take note of is um, that there's eight people that are throwing, you know, saw blades at you all the time. And so you kind of need to adjust for that reality. I think the most important power-ups to have in arena race are shields, right? Like I run double shield all the time, you know, the best thing that I can do. I run the speed shield and the the blue shield that lasts a long time. Um, I don't like the heavy shield because it slows you down too much. Um, if I was high enough level to get the time shield, I would probably, you know, the chrono shield, I would definitely probably run that over the, over the two second speedy one. Um, this is just super important because, um, there are so many more threats that you need to protect yourself from. Um, and so having this kind of defense is, is best, you know? Um, you'll also notice that I'm right there waiting to use the shield until I know there's a threat coming on. That way I can maximize kind of the time it has. Um, the time, you know, it spends defending me. And so that's definitely something you should all be trying to do. Don't just use the shield the second you get it. Um, like, wait until you see the clouds in the sky. Um, and then, you know, wait half a second after after that hit the shield and then you are maximizing the amount of things that you can defend yourself from in terms of the red attack power-ups i'm always going to go for the ones that can get an average kill count of like three or four as opposed to you know the ones that can only get one confirmed and why is that because well in quick race maybe you want to use the gun or the anvil to take out the one person that's like you know a good 15 seconds ahead of you or whatever it may be um, so that you can start to catch up to them and you can't quite reach them with a saw. Whereas in arena race, you can let those, you know, one or two people be ahead of you. You just need to keep all those other, you know, five people behind you. And so kind of the best way that I go about achieving this is by running saw blades and just throwing them up against a wall as soon as I pass that wall. That way they're going directly behind you and they can just cut through whoever is, you know, on your tail. Um, it's kind of a good tip, I think, to avoid throwing those saw blades uh, ahead of you because then they have a good chance of taking you yourself out and then you're, you know, you might as well have just given everyone else an advantage if you're killing yourself with your own power up because, you know, even if you got four other people, there's now three people that didn't get killed by your saw blade um, that, you know, are just going to pull ahead of you now. So that's tough. You don't want to do that. Um, you want to be very tactical about how you use these things. Um, so that's a very good tip. Again, I'll say it again. It bears repeating. Don't throw saw blades ahead of you. Right here is actually the first time I get eliminated just because I was fumbling around with the shield and I missed using it both on the, the ice and the magnet. And so I basically wasted a shield there. Um, failed to pull ahead as much as I should have. And even though I'm sitting well now, everyone else still had their power-ups. Got unlucky with the um, the revolver. And boom, it's over. It's done. Uh, you'll notice right there that everyone went down. You need to go down there. That is um, the ultimate way to go. You get that boost, and you are 100% of the time going to be faster <laughs> than um, anyone else who didn't jump down into that little, that little boost portal. Anyway, I've got to stop the video here, but I hope you guys join me in the next half of this arena run to go through some of the um, remaining tenets, general tenets of arena racing, and some of the play-by-play -play decisions that I make, and I'll explain some of the, the map choices and the routes that I pick. So, um, I'll see you guys over there. Until then, take care.